morning. Uh, it's a good day. It's good to be here with you. Um, and it's always good to do these devotions and sort of be together in these ways. <clears throat> let's start out with a prayer and then we'll, we'll hop right into a devotion, but let's pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for the birds that are singing. Thank you for the people around us that will make this day great. And we ask that uh, your presence be with us each and every day, and especially this day as we go out into the world to do your work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Katie and I um, came up to Raleigh, North Carolina to be with family for a few days. Um, and uh, it was fun to drive back. This is where I uh, grew up. This is where I came home to during college, that kind of thing. Um, so it was fun to drive from Clemson to Raleigh and kind of have a reminiscence of uh, those road trips from college to home uh, maybe 10 years ago <laughs> and um, and to sort of know it by heart even though I did need some directions once we got closer to town but uh, to just kind of know the way to go uh, usually when we go on a road trip I have to follow the map a hundred percent but um, coming home to a place that you once called home um, is often uh, an interesting experience because you just have all those memories and I I was thinking that that's that's part of the holiday season that um, just comes with it right so part of the holiday is thinking about what Christmas means religiously faithfully um, in our world etc uh, we listen to the story we think about what it means for us today and then another part of the holidays is just being together with people you love we're doing some things that have been traditions for so long, um, going places that you might have called home or still call home and live far away from. Um, that's part of the holiday too. And uh, so all these memories that we have that just spring up, whether or not we want them to <laughs> during the holidays are are just a part of it. And I think that's, that's one of the reasons that um, it's important for us not to just focus on the joy of the good news of, of Christmas, but also to, to focus on uh, the angel's promise of, of peace um, with the good news at Christmas too. It's joy and peace for the whole world. And um, that's another reason too that we're gonna have the blue Christmas service next week, uh, not just a Christmas Eve service on the 24th, but, um, but we're, we've started this idea of having a blue Christmas service too, and churches do that um, to have a more sort of meditative service, one that's not just focused on how incredibly joyful the Christmas Eve service is with all the music, etc. We sing some different hymns, we um, say some different prayers, and holidays are, are very tough for a lot of people because of these memories that just that come up. Even... Um, it's just people that we've lost, loved ones that we've lost, um, or just uh, hard times, hard relationships in our past. Um, memories just pop up at the holiday season, and so it's it's a hard time for a lot of folks. This uh, this stretch between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and to to have a, a worship service like a Blue Christmas service is to focus on that that hope and that peace um, that come at Christmas as well, even if these are difficult days. So we'll do that, that's Tuesday, uh, December 21st at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. But that's a, a different kind of Christmas celebration. Um, and it's just a time that we can be together and support one another as we uh, continue to, to live into this good news of Christmas, whatever that looks like for us. That's all I've got for today. I, I hope you um, enjoy your days of holidays, whatever that looks like, or or get through them if they're difficult. Um, and I hope that uh, you're able to uh, worship in whatever way makes you feel most worshipful during these Christmas services next week. Um, and I hope that as a faith community, we do a good job of um, providing those opportunities and supporting one another as we go through it. But let's pray and then we'll go about our days. And I look forward to any comments that y'all have about uh, your favorite Christmas memories or, or um, ideas you've got for how to uh, make it through the holidays, etc. But let's pray. God, thank you for the different ways that you have shown up in our lives. 
uh, in the past, the different ways that you will continue to show up in the future. We thank you for memories, uh, the good ones, the bad ones, but we thank you for the different ways that our memories remind us um, of times in our lives that you have been close to us, uh, times in our lives when we've leaned on you and on loved ones um, to get us through, uh, times in our lives that, that remind us of what your grace and your joy look like. We thank you for these memories and as we push forward and continue to create new memories we ask that you be ever so close to us uh, and with us and guiding us in jesus name we pray amen thanks y'all have a wonderful day um and i'll see you i'll be there on sunday to preach god bless